गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शन इज द फोर्स व्हिच एक्ट्स इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन टू द मोशन फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू सी इफ यू पुश दिस बुक फ्रॉम दिस साइड सो द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स विल बी इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन सेम वे इफ यू पुश द बुक फ्रॉम दिस साइड द फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स विल एक्ट इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो इफ द motion is in this direction the frictional force or the resistance because of which the books stop moving it will be in opposite direction same in case a and same in case b so we can conclude that frictional force always acts in the opposite direction to the force of uh, to the motion next is that how to check the frictional force that how much is the friction between the two surfaces so that we can check with the simple instrument called spring balance so spring balance is a device used for measuring the force acting on an object it consists of a coiled spring uh, which gets stretched when the force is applied to it stretching of the spring is measured by the pointer moving in the graduated scale the reading on the scale gives the magnitude or the strength of the force so it has got this pointer which is shown here and inside it has got the spring the moment you put weight here so this pointer will come down as per the weight so you can see here in this uh, figure 12.3 a brick is being pulled by the spring balance so brick is heavy so it will be exerting uh, more uh, friction because of the irregularities between the surface of the brick as well as this surface of the floor so more the weight more will be the friction one thing and more the irregularities in the surfaces at the same time more will be the friction so it all depends upon the nature of the surface and weight for example if we, you increase uh, number of bricks now number of bricks you increase by 3 times so what will happen the friction will be more because weight has increased if you in place of this smooth uh, surface on the floor if you uh, keep uh, one sandpaper so obviously the frictional force will be more because of the more irregularities or the roughness of the surface now moving ahead you can see in this uh, figure this figure you can see this activity that is figure 12.4 these boys they are rolling down one pencil uh, cell and the pencil cell moves far off because this surface is very smooth even this pencil uh, cell is also having a smooth surface so there are less irregularities between the two surfaces so less irregularities means less friction and more motion because friction is in opposite direction to the motion so it tries to stop the moving object basically now in second case b now they have uh, spread this cloth over the table now see the distance the cell is able to cover so that is comparatively lesser the reason is again uh, the cloth is having more irregularities in its surface in place of cloth if you keep some uh, sand paper over it or some another cloth which is not so smooth so uh, uh, same way you will get the result it depends upon the irregularities of the surfaces not only the irregularities of the two surfaces but it also depends upon the weight of the object which is moving basically now see next one though we say friction is a necessary evil when we say friction is a necessary evil it is just like as we have seen in bio case the transpiration is necessary evil necessary means it has got its positive points also transpiration because it adds cooling effect to the environment and um, uh, it helps in transport of the water because of transpiration it happens so th these are the positive effects when we say necessary so we will talk about the positive effect also when we say evil so we will talk about the negative disadvantages also so we say in physics that the friction is necessary evil it has got some advantages at the same time it has got its uh, evil effect or the disadvantages also for example because of the 
uh, friction if we talk about the advantages we can write we can walk uh, well so uh, for example in this uh, figure 12 11.7 a nail is fixed in the wall due to the friction so all these are the advantages of the friction now you can see we can walk easily because of the friction friction between the floor and the sole of the shoe so if there is no design no friction so we won't be able to walk properly we can able to light the match stick because of the friction uh, we uh, we are able to um, produce uh, we are able to write uh, we are able to walk we are able to uh, run all because of the friction now see what are the we have talked about friction as a necessary now what is the disadvantages how it acts as a evil basically so now see there are many examples here where we can see that it acts as a evil we say that it acts as a evil because of these reason disadvantages if we talk about so it produces heat because friction generates heat then it reduces the energy our energy is reduced because of the friction we have to put more energy and it also uh, cause damage or wear and tear damage is wear and tear so all these are the three ill effects or the bad effects we see disadvantages of friction it generate heat for example if machines are working in factory because of friction friction is required but at the same time it generates heat which is maybe not good for machines then it reduces the energy we have to apply uh, energy because friction is always in the opposite direction to the motion so energy wastage is also there and it causes wear and tear for example if we walk um, so there is damage of the sole uh, of our shoe same way the tire after getting used over a period of time uh, all these design they get damaged uh, so all these are the ill effects of the friction that's why we say friction is a necessary evil now if we know that friction is having advantages as well as disadvantages so at our own convenience we can increase or reduce the friction for example if we want more friction for better result so we can increase the friction the way we have uh, created design here the treads here on the uh, wheel so that it can run properly on the road same way uh, the shoes uh, with the spikes you must have seen uh, which are worn by the footballers or the sports person so these the, in this case they are increasing the friction because uh, for as per the requirement but uh, these kids are playing carom board so during playing carom board so what they are doing they have sprinkled some powder talcum powder on it so that they can reduce the friction so as per our convenience as per our comfort we can increase or decrease the friction because we have already uh, spoken on this um, topic that friction is a necessary evil necessary at the same time it is having some disadvantages also so lubricants can be used like oil talcum powder to increase or decrease is the friction so like uh, we we have already talked about types of friction like first is the static friction the friction uh, between the two uh, surfaces when the body is not in motion second is your sliding friction once you push to the body and once uh, the one sli surface slides over the other surface that is called the sliding friction okay uh, for example if you remove uh, these pencils uh from the below the book so what will happen the and if you push this book uh, from this direction so what will happen it will slide over the surface of the table so that will be sliding friction and the moment you keep these pencil Uh, and then you push it so uh, the movement will be easy because it will be rolling friction so first case is book with kept as such on the table and you are pushing it that time it has not started moving so it will be static friction because there is a friction between the surface of the book and the table and uh, the book is not moving you are just uh, initiating that uh, movement so that time the friction will be static friction it will be the highest one second will be when the uh, the book starts moving that will be the sliding friction and third will be when you keep 
pencil below and it uh, you have to push it and it move it rolls the both the surfaces rolls over each other so it will be the rolling uh, friction so static friction will be highest then it will be sliding friction then it will be rolling so rolling will be the least that's why you see when you have to uh, pull the luggage we use the wheels because in in spite of just dragging it without any wheel because when we will be dragging it will be sliding friction we know that rolling friction will be less so we uh, prefer uh, these wheels or uh, in spite of just dragging the luggage now uh, just to reduce the friction we can see one more live example that is the ball bearing this you see very frequently in bicycles so here these ball bearings are used so that our sliding friction can be converted into the rolling friction and rolling friction is always lesser as compared to sliding friction if in spite of these balls if there would have been two cylindrical surfaces so it would have been the sliding friction but just to reduce or just to convert just to reduce the friction and convert uh, the sliding friction into rolling friction they have used the ball bearings so ball bearings also reduce the friction then lubricants also reduce the friction last is the fluid friction which is also called drag fluid scientifically the liquid and air they are called the fluid and the friction provided by either liquid that is water or air that is called the fluid friction for example this aeroplane is moving or the bird is moving in the air so air is also providing friction from opposite direction same way if any ship is moving in the water so ship is moving in one direction but the water is providing friction or the resistance that is recovered from the opposite direction so that is called drag and just to overcome the fluid friction uh, the shape aeroplane and the birds they have the streamline body so that why they have got the streamline body so that the fluid friction can be reduced Fric fluid friction can be reduced thank you very much revise well